Hey, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Men. Welcome back to part two of six things that I learned from a man. This is going to be a series. So it's just going to be me giving wisdom about things that I learned from different bodies of people. So we already dropped part one of five things I learned from a man. This is going to be part two of six things that I learned from a man. Then we're going to go on to different people because we're going to be done with the man after this video. Now, man, y'all, I got to try to get on my head like, oh my God, they always be coming for us. Listen, ladies, they up next. Number one. I heard this from a dude on Facebook. He said, I was just scrolling this mind of my business. This man said a woman needs to have as many children that she would be able to take care of if she was by herself. The reason I brought this here is because a man said that and it makes a lot of sense because we don't be knowing people for real and we don't like to take the time to and a lot of us it's unfortunate that we have had children with people that we did not know and then some of us have you know we're single parents and different things like that so it makes a lot of sense because a lot of times we're just trauma bonding with people which means that you know maybe we suffered the same in life so that's our real connection so we really rarely ever get to know people and when we have children that makes it different and difficult sometimes i want to speak on everybody but and then also when women just keep having the children and keep having the children and keep having the children then a the man leaves lord forbid that is a lot of pressure on one woman and i i you know i can understand that just from what i can understand so that is a lot so the number one thing that i learned from a man is have as many children as you'll be able to take care of if you were by yourself we don't want to think that like we don't want to go into a relationship like well i might as well just you know get a prenup or think about what happens if i'll be single but we always want to protect ourselves because again we don't get to know people when we get to know people we don't have to think like that we don't have to move like that but if we're just not knowing people and we're just having children you want to be wise and make sure that you have the resources that you need if you had to be on your own and it's always still wise to have your own as well but i know some people personally they have like multiple children and they're alone and that's not good so if we can just to be more wise we're just having children because children is a blessing and we just don't want to be just you know just having children you know being a single parent is not you know an easy road i'm sure so the number one thing is have as many children that you have for yourself. But another thing before we get off this one, because people views change. So, you know, one point a man to be like, oh, I don't want no kids. Then he'll be like, well, maybe one or two. And then you have five or six. And then sometimes, you know, those conflicting views of what's not being equally open, understanding what we want could cause a problem as well. So we just want to make sure that we know our partner as well and that we're, you know, having children on the same level that we'll be able to take care of them. I think that makes a lot of sense. Number two is always be yourself. I learned this from men personally men their desires change one minute they want you to have a big butt they want you to get the surgery they want you to get the boobs they want you to have the hair and then the next minute they're like well we're tired of that now because everybody is doing that so now we want you to be a natural beauty i used to talk to a guy and this young man had me going up and down the roller coaster like no i want you to be natural well you need to be natural just be your natural self Whatever you are doing before you enter that relationship, keep doing the same thing. And that's where you keep your identity. That's where you keep loving yourself in that relationship. You don't get caught up in just taking care of that other person. Always do what you are doing before you enter that relationship. That is what you call a healthy relationship. What you call a toxic relationship is when somebody is like, hey, you know, maybe you should change your hair. Well, you, you natural, but, you know, I like my girls with makeup. At that point, then I'm not your type. Always do what you are doing before you enter that relationship. If somebody views change about you and the way that you carry yourself, they were never really interested. And that's a personal problem. Like, don't change the what you're doing because somebody that really loves you, that you're going to attract them. So if you're natural, be natural. If this man don't like natural and he said he liked natural at first and then now he looking at the girls with the hair, then he need to go look at the girls with the hair and we need to separate because I'm not about to change who I am. Me being natural for what it is that you desire. You're either going to desire me the way that I've came into this or we're not going to do this at all. So always, always do what you were doing before you got with that man you know make sure that you're buying yourself the flowers you're still taking care of yourself that way it becomes a healthy relationship equally yoked relationship and not a toxic relationship please always do what you were doing beforehand what is his type this is what i learned about a man because they had like men i don't 
some men, I can speak for all of them, but they have a type, but then they don't. And then some men don't even have choices or options like that. So they just go with whatever female that's going to give them the attention. But it is wise to learn their type. Now, I'm learning a lot of that from watching <laughs> from watching 20 versus 1. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> because what they're doing is... It's messy, I ain't gonna lie, it is a messy show, but it's teaching me to look outside of the mess and to see how people be thinking. So soon on the walk up, they'll be like, or you know, the popping balloon and stuff like, oh, that ain't my type. People go off of, I mean, and, and it's, it is ideal for everybody to have a type. Like everybody is, you know, you can have your type, it doesn't matter. But it's just when you're with someone, you know that's not your type. So I learned that from men. If he like light skin, he like light skin. He's not about to change his name. He's not about to change his desire just because you cook and you clean. And that's what happened to me before. The man said, you know, I always want a light skin girl, da da da. And when that came out one day, I was like, that could be the reason why he acting like this. And he not really giving me 100% of him because it's not really his type for real. And he just settling because he don't get no play like that. Don't be the woman that the man settled for and you're not really his type. Because at the end, that hurts your feelings and it could do different things to your mind. But rebuke that in the name of Jesus. We pray that we are mentally strong. We just need to know people type. So this happens getting to know people as well. Making sure that we're on the same accord because I'm not light skin. <laughs> Period. <laughs> so what happened with that situation was I was just like, dang, you feel me? Like, and I asked him, I was like, dang, so you know, like, what you like, light skin girls? So like, oh, I know, I know. I used to like light skin girls. I want the mirror light skin girl, but you know, you, you know, you smart and it. Mm -mm. I'm not your type. I'm not your type. Learn what people like before you even go that far. I learned that from a man. His type is his type. He ain't gonna change nothing because you're more beautiful than a light skin girl. Because you do more than a light skin girl. His type is light skin. That's his type. You have some men that they have multiple types. You have women that they have multiple types. But in conclusion, man, somebody type is a type. People be sitting there like, it's, it is what it is. I'm not finna fight with that, sir. And I didn't fight with that. I don't know about your business. I don't know about your business, boy. Let the man lead in general. I learned that from a man. And another thing I learned from a man is that if he is not leading, that is because he's just not a natural leader. He haven't been given that wisdom to be that. And he just still got some growing to do. It could just be some immaturity. But him not being a leader at all can lead you astray down the pits of hell. So it is a man's responsibility to lead. Yeah, when you're single, when you're an individual, you're going to lead yourself. But what I learned from a man is when you're with someone... That man is responsible to lead everything. The arguments, uh, you know, maybe somebody, you know, arguing in the family, the family saying something, any type of problem, conflict resolution. This man is supposed to get that resolved. Has nothing to do with you like the fight in trying to check a female because she just said something. It is the man's responsibility to lead. To address any type of problem, conversations, conflict with his family, with another female, their desires or whatever is going on. Don't ever step out of your power to try to do that. If you have to do that, that man is not a leader. That man is weak in some areas in his life. And it's just going to be you leading a relationship is going to be toxic. And then man want to say she's so masculine. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I learned from a man. If he's not stepping up to be the leader in every way possible, he really don't like you like that or he might like you, but he just don't have the power to do that. And we we need we need strong will minded men. So it's no not going to be no way. Well, you know, I just, you know, he don't really know. No, no, he supposed to know. He is supposed to know. So this is number four, five, six, because I need to keep up. This is number four. Let the man lead and address things in general. That's what I learned from a man, a real man. I learned that from a real man in general that he will do it. Number five is never tell a man your past. Listen, I learned this from a man because I would get comfortable and be like, oh, you know, I'm comfortable with him. And, you know, I trust him or whatever. And he would do the same thing. He'd be comfortable and he'd tell me something. But sometimes your testimony is too heavy for people when other people may not be able to relate. They may not be able to carry that or they may not just 
they don't understand you at all. So telling the man your past, for whatever reason, it gives them the play to try to play on you, which is ignorant. But I just say leave that alone in general, simply because it just doesn't make sense to me. And we're just going to keep going for it in the name of Jesus. But simply just, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, just to leave, you know, when we begin to enter new relationships, the past should just be the past because it should be something that has been healed. It should be something that we've learned from already. So bringing that information to a new person, just putting all that on them in the beginning, like I will do myself, is a lot. And people just be like, oh, okay, like I can handle that. Like, damn, you've been through, oh my God, you're just such a good person. But... They don't know how to handle that because men don't even know, be knowing. Some men don't even be knowing how to handle their own testimonies for real, their own struggles and problems. So me putting all my stuff on you and they think that they can, but a weak man won't be able to. So never tell a man your past. Leave it like that. If it comes down to something to where, you know, maybe it's something going on and you have to talk about the past. OK, but just simply meeting somebody like, hey, this is what I used to go through. This is what I used to be through. Mm -mm. These are my struggles. Mm -mm. I'm, I learned the hard way about that. I ain't telling nobody nothing about Nathan. <laughs> Never tell a man your past. That's what I learned from a man because I've seen them use it against you. We don't want to do that. And number six, this is what I learned from a man not moving too quick. Well, maybe it was just young man. I don't know. But I've seen it in older men too. Moving too quick is a red flag. Moving too quick shows insecurity, lack of mental stability, lack of emotional stability, and a lack of just everything in general. We shouldn't be moving that quick. Like moving too quick is just it's just always a red flag. I don't even know how many more examples to get without getting too off into it um personally, but moving too fast is a red flag. Like is is something wrong with that? Like why are we rushing? Why are we rushing? So don't ever move too fast. Take your time with things like, and you know, people be having under agendas when they be going too fast. Like you don't know me that so you don't know me that fast. So it doesn't make sense for us to be doing all of this. And like I said, easier said than lived. I've learned it. I've went through it and experienced it. But this day, mm -mm. we need time. We need to be, you know, we need to be linking. We need to, you know, it just it's different type of boundaries now that have to go be beyond, you know, want to move with somebody. Man, no, no, listen. And listen to the sounds here in my heart. We ain't moving from the start. We gonna take our time. We gotta take our time. We gotta take our time. So those are the six things that I learned from a man part two. Let's just run them back again, y'all. My setup is just falling all over the place, but that's what make the video more authentic. So number one, have as many children as you can take care of, which is wise. Make sure that your views are the same in a relationship and have as many children as y'all agree to. And just to be wise, always be your natural self. Don't change nothing that you got going on because you're with somebody unless you need to, unless it's something that, that'll help y'all grow. But in general, if you're a natural beauty, be a natural beauty. Don't start putting hair all in your head because that's what he like. Do what you like to do. And that's how you keep a healthy relationship. Number three, then his type is what his type is. Don't change to be a type. Don't alter your life in no way. And let that man go and get his type. Number four, let the man lead in everything. If he ain't leading nothing, then that's not a, a strong man as we desire. Number five, never tell a man your past because it doesn't matter anymore. And a lot of them don't know how to handle it. They're getting a new version of you. They're getting a new person. They don't need to think about the past. And if it ever comes to a point where somebody tried to die, he was talking to her, well, you know, how she used to be back in the day. Then that's when you say, well, I can speak on my own behalf. Let me tell you how I used to be back in the day. But in this day, none of that matters because you're not meeting that version of me because that's the old person it's me versus me you're meeting the new me so the old me doesn't even matter because if we get into the old me then you're going to be trying to do things that the old me was doing and i got out of there for a reason so we're not trying to go back so we're going to leave the past and the past unless it's necessary and don't move too quick those are the six things that i learned from a man be sure to like comment and subscribe and leave down below in this comment section if something made sense something didn't make sense and if you have any tips as well that way we're learning because I'm interested in hearing what y'all have to say about these things because we're finna go on in this series. It's about to be fun. It's about to be interesting. It's about to be juicy. So yeah, I love you. God bless you and have a fantastic day. Bye.